And so Micah Parsons in the podcast with Jordan Love also talked about one thing that Aaron Jones did that Micah Parsons seemed pretty shocked and surprised about uh, from the game in Dallas when it was Packers Cowboys in the playoffs. And I just want to share this quick audio clip because I think it's an aspect of Aaron Jones game that, you know, we don't really see discussed about, you know, discussed much. And I thought it was very interesting. And so here it is. Yeah, man. Why was Aaron following me all game like that, bro? Aaron Jones? Yeah, I, I did we, not expect that bro, out of him. Bro. Well, that's the thing. Our game plan, like, we, we have specific play calls where it's like, all right, we chipping. We're going to get the tight end, the running back chipping. You, we got, you know, stud jet protection where we, we going after the stud, man. You and But Jonesy in that game, bro, he did some phenomenal stuff. It was sometimes we was doing play action stuff where he just – he, he checking for like the nickel coming off the edge, and if he not coming, he's supposed to get on his route. And my fault. And he would feel you beat one of our our old linemen, and he would just bro, instinct I, just just go to chip you and, and help in bro, protection. I, it was unbelievable. Like it was on most of those inside rushes, I was like, no way he's supposed to be there, like, bro. He was not. He, and that's just that's just the player he is, where he's at in, in the league, man. To 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 know how good of a rusher you are, and just be able to pick you up and, and help, you know, give me some time back there. Because nah, there was a couple of them. If he wouldn't have did that. I don't know, bro. That, like, I, I don't like, know. Like, I'm coming up to the sound like, yo, like, what, like, what is going on? Like, that was tough. Like, I, I, I'm not even gonna lie. I saw him yesterday. I was like, bro. I, like, I was like, I don't know if he was supposed to do that. Like, he was just doing that. Like, he freestyling out there and, and, and picking up and doing some great things. And he, he Jonesy, not the biggest dude, bro. He's not. He's not. A, but he got a lot of heart, bro. Nah, he bro, did. He, he got a lot of heart right there. He did. I, I, was, I was like, that was tough. That was, that was, that was tough. So in that game versus the Cowboys, the Packers did a pretty good job at keeping Micah Parsons in check and it partly seems because Aaron Jones was out, out there as Jordan Love described it freestyling you know play action pass he's not maybe not supposed to go in there and chip a guy like Micah Parsons but he felt that you know some of the offensive linemen were beat he decides okay I'll come in help with Micah Parsons and you can tell that Micah Parsons you know one of the best rushers in the NFL seemed like he hadn't seen that too often where a guy he's he like knew he wasn't supposed to be there he knew that it couldn't be part of the, the typical normal play and yet Aaron Jones was somehow there causing problems, forcing Micah Parsons to, um, you know, not be able to get there and get to Jordan Love. So I think that for Aaron Jones, a guy who's been in the league for a while now, who's a veteran here in Green Bay, it's things like that that we don't often see or maybe even hear uh, from, especially from other defensive players' perspectives. And so we already know how good Aaron Jones is as a runner. And even as, you know, in normal pass blocking, but situations like that where he's just sort of making things up and, you know, sort of having a, a feel for the game that probably lots of running backs in the NFL do not have. And so I think Aaron Jones is a crucial part of this team. It sounds like he should be back next season. I hope that he's able to keep playing as he has the past, you know, five, six games of this season. Let's hope he stays healthy because he did struggle with a lot of injuries this past year. And as long as he is healthy and as long as he is playing at this level, I think the Packers need to do everything they can to keep him. I I do think the Packers will probably make some moves this offseason to probably draft a running back in the chance that Jones isn't here for a few seasons because you never know what could happen. It's a possibility he's only here another year or so, but we'll have to keep an eye on it. But I thought that was very interesting.